The court is now in session. During this morning's session, the chamber continues matin, to hear the testimony of Mr. Song Sikun. Questions Sung continue to be put sera by defense counsel. La and the eventual time left after this si testimony temps, of Mr. Après so the and the chamber is going to hear witness so la chambre entendra le témoin so sick. Mr. Duc Paris, you are now invited to Monsieur Duc Paris, report to the chamber concerning the current present of the parties to the proceedings. Duc Paris, le Mr. Greffier. President, Monsieur Your Honours, all parties to the proceedings Toutes are present except Mr. Son Arun, sauf who is Son Arun. absent due to his health Il est absent concern. Pour raison de santé. Mr. Yang Sari is in his Monsieur holding Sari cell se trouve dans downstairs. La temporaire du sous -sol. Through his counsels, Mr. Yang Sari has waived his right to participate directly in the courtroom for the entire day today. Pour toute la journée. His waiver Le document de has been submitted to the greffier of the trial chamber already. With regard to witness saw si, en ce qui concerne she is so in si the waiting room awaiting call from the dans chamber. La salle à la disposition de la chambre. The president, thank you, Mr. Paris. Merci, Monsieur Paris. Next, uh, before we proceed to counsel for the accused, the chamber would like to rule on two requests. First, the demande. request by counsel for Mr. Yang Sari. De la défense de Yang Sari. The Chamber has received a request by counsel for Mr. Yingsri on the 20th of August 2012, in which uh, Mr. Uh, Yingsri has requested Monsieur that Yingsari he be excused from attending directly in the proceedings. Mr. Wan the medical doctor who examined Mr. Yingsri has observed that Yingsari Mr. Yingsari Et il a constaté que celui-ci était fatigué. He becomes tired when he moves, and he feels dizzy when que walking. Que ses déplacements le fatiguaient et qu'il était pris Due to de that, vertige uh, en problem, marchant. Mr. Yang cannot de ce fait, d'après le médecin, M. Yang Sari ne peut rester longtemps ici, so ni has se recommandé lever uh, Mr. Yang fréquemment. Le médecin a donc recommandé que M. Yang Sari soit autorisé à suivre l'audience depuis la cellule temporaire. The chamber, therefore, grants such a request uh, as recommended by the doctor. Mr. Yang Sari is now permitted to observe the proceedings from the holding cell because he is mentally fit to observe the proceeding, although he is not physically well. He is mentally apt to follow the audience, but Mr. Yang Sari can now observe the proceeding from there. He is not physically fit to observe the proceedings from the holding cell. He can do so for the whole duration of the day proceedings, and AV booth officers are now instructed to ensure that the AV equipment is well connected to the room so that Mr. Yingsari can observe the proceeding from there. The second ruling is on the Deuxième request to use document during the examination of the witness. The chamber authorizes the non-chia defense if they wish to do so to 
to quote from document D366-7.1.1 but only if they have further questions to ask of the witness. They may not revisit topics which have already been Canvas, particularly where these questions were found to be irrelevant or repetitious. The motion to revisit documents D22-185.5 and E3-1435 is denied. The full reasons for the decision will be placed on the case file in due course. Au dossier en temps opportun. Next, without further ado, the Chamber would like to hand over to counsel for Mr. Yengsari to proceed with the remaining questions. Pour du témoin. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning to everyone in, in and around the courtroom. And good morning, bonjour, sir. Monsieur. Uh, let's pick up where Reprenons we left off là où nous last Thursday. Arrivés, just to refresh your memory, we were discussing part of your testimony from August 6, 2012, and I'm referring to, if you English, page 64, Kamai is 0083-2181-82, French, 0083-3131. 3435 in English it's 0083-3251. And we touched on this a little bit. You provide an answer where you say that Mr. Yengsari was in charge of foreign affairs of the center. And as for the intellectuals arriving from France who were in who were the former members of the Marxist-Leninist circle, du cercle Marxist he was also responsible for the group as well, and groupe. that included yourself. Et ce groupe comprenait vous -même. You then went on to say, Ensuite, or to clarify, en précisant what was meant by responsible vous and par in charge, responsable et and you indicated de, vous avez dit, uh, Pol Pot, so Pol Pot made also also made the decision regarding the appointments for us, and that it was Mr. Sri who was actually directly responsible for carrying out your, de la mise en the, your duties. De vos Do you recall making those statements, sir? Que vous vous avoir dit ça? Response. Réponse. First of all, allow me to express my respect to the President je and saluer le président Jonas. Et les juges. My answer is yes. Ma réponse est oui. Thank you. Now, if we go over a page or Question. so later, Une page plus loin uh, this would environ. be in the transcript 66 in English, but uh, the Khmer uh, ERN is 0, Khmer, zero, zero eight. 0, 81, 81, 81, 81, 81, that in certain cases, he, cas, that is Paul Pot, il, was making Pot, a decision on his own discretion. Seul. Uh, for instance, in regard exemple, to the intellectual communists returning from France, de France, and I knew that clearly because dites, he knew clairement them individually clearly, clearly, so he was so he knew Et about donc, their political stance. Leur you then go on to say, Ensuite, and when it comes to making decisions regarding them, decision he sujet, would make them by himself. Uh, he, would make, he would make it by himself on his. 
And then later on, et ensuite, you confirm that vous confirmez you are referring to Pol que Pot. vous parliez bien de Pol Pot. Vous vous souvenez-vous avoir affirmé cela et est-ce que vous maintenez la réponse que vous avez faite I may wish to also emphasize that I testified based on what I learned déposé, and what I en m'appuyant sur ce que j'avais appris et sur so ce que je savais members à ma connaissance who were the intellectuals in the les membres Marxist qui étaient des intellectuels du cercle marxiste léniniste they normally followed de manière the instructions générale suivaient les instructions du parti à l'intérieur du pays was after the liberation on the 17th of April Après la libération 1975, du 17 avril 75 willing to come to Cambodia to serve the au country Cambodge pour servir because le pays. I already indicated that uh, en effet, comme je déjà indiqué, people who made the decision on the fate of les gens qui prenaient les décisions sur me, le sort des intellectuels, dont moi-même, these individuals to only the Marxist Leninist circle, eh bien, and these se prononçaient seulement sur les gens du cercle marxiste léniniste. Well, et Paul Pot les connaissait très bien. Et Paul Pot les connaissait très bien. Notre position politique était également well claire et bien connue de Paul Pot. And these people respected and listen to the orders by the party respecter les ordres du parti et obéissent However, à ses ordres that doesn't mean that Toutefois, each individual of the group ça ne veut pas dire que chaque individu du groupe était d'accord avec toutes les décisions prises However, par le parti according to the principle Mais, of the party selon les lower principes du parti les responsables had to obey de rang ranking officials obéir à ceux reason, qui étaient plus we haut dans la hiérarchie. Pour cette raison, nous étions prêts à apporter notre contribution à la reconstruction du pays et du parti après la guerre. Thank you, sir. La défense. I'm asking Merci, rather short monsieur. questions just to confirm what Je vais poser une question. Uh, now let's talk Bref, about Pol Pot. Si vous confirmez ce que vous avez dit, vous avez dit, vous parlons de Pol Pot compte tenu des réponses précédentes et de celles d'aujourd'hui. Je vous renvoie à uh, the 15th of August, à l'audience du 15 août 2012, et à ce que vous avez dit, il s'agit in de la page 18 du texte uh, anglais, Khmer is en Khmer, 13 le RN, ou plutôt ce sont les pages 13 et 14 French, du projet de transcription, 19, et en français c'est la page 19, c'est là que je vais commencer. Premièrement, Short, on vous pose une question sur Philippe Short, his book, Anatomy of a et sur son livre, and then we cauchemar. see that at some point Ensuite, you are provided with a quote on vous that is attributed to you citation qui vous est and that can be found on page 20 in English, 21 in French, de 21 du français. Uh, where you talk about Ici, Pol Pot vous parlez de micromanaging. Fait que Pol Pot euh, micro que la micro-gestion des petits détails faisait partie de la conception qu'avait Pol Pot de la direction, no une main ferme sans partage du pouvoir. Il voulait everything. tout monopoliser. Now, uh, is that your firm conviction here today Êtes-vous fermement well convaincu Aujourd'hui également, que sur la base de ce que vous avez observé à l'époque, Pol Pot micro-gérait tout. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Oui. This is how he managed things. C'est de cette manière qu'il gérait les choses. Il était leadership. méticuleux. Il no room for others to intervene Et in his decision. Il ne laissait aucune place Thank aux you. autres pour Now, prendre part aux décisions qu'il prenait. Now, as an example, perhaps you can help us Question. here uh, and confirm 
whether this would be an example. Confirmé uh, I'm referring to E3 slash 42. Document 3 bar 42. And in Khmer, it's uh, 00-32-72-06-07. French, 00-32-72-26-27. And English, 00-32-72-16-27. And this document uh, is uh, your statement of May 6, 2009. And you were asked a question, and I believe you even touched on it already, where you were, you were asked, did you have any contact with Nunchia from 1975 to 1979? And we see part of your answer is, I never had any contact with Nunchia from 1975 to 79 because he was not dealing with the foreign policy. It was Pol Pot who took care of this. Would it be fair to say, uh, well, do you stand by that? That it was Pol Pot who was savoir, taking care of, of the foreign policy de la at the time. À Response. Yes, I do. Réponse. It is obviously oui. clear. It was the principle of the party clair. as the party was the general commander party. Le party and the, était as the secretary of the party, he le chef monopolized en tant que du parti, all affairs lui and he had enjoyed this automatic authority et Automatiquement, to une telle autorité lui était confiée of the en vue de s'occuper des affaires du parti et de tout ce qui avait trait au PCK. All right. La défense. Très bien. Now, uh, and then as another example, Ensuite, un autre exemple. Perhaps you can help us out here. Peut-être pourriez-vous uh, nous aider. Il s'agit du livre noir, comme on l'appelle. Now you've testified uh, concerning this matter. Vous en avez parlé dans votre déposition. I'm referring to your testimony of August 6, déposition du 6 août, where you indicated vous that avez dit it was Pol Pot who actually Pol Pot was responsible qui, dans la réalité, for the drafting était responsable of the Black Book. De la rédaction du livre noir. Those were his ideas. Vous avez dit que c'était ses idées. Do you recall? Telling us that. Vous souvenez-vous avoir dit cela? Response. Réponse. Yes, I do. Oui. I did uh, testify before the chamber ce like que dit that he dans le called some cadres to meet up with him. Il and a at that time, Mr. Yang Sari was present. Et à l'époque, Yang Sari était présent. And then he présent. gave presentation et and we ensuite took il a fait notes. un exposé nous avons pris des notes and at the end of the session à la fin we returned de la réunion, to the mystery of foreign nous affairs au ministère des affaires étrangères at that time i myself was the, along with mr kit chun j'étais moi-même au côté de monsieur kit chun et chun prasad ainsi que nikon and mrs so sai et madame so sai and other cadres not all cadres from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs qui were pas tous there. Du tous ceux du and des the, we pas là. then Ensuite, carry out what presented in his presentation. Nous avons mis en we drafted ce the, avait the dit document dans son nous avons and presented un document. it to him. Nous le lui avons présenté. He later on sent Plus the tard, document back to Ah, il nous a envoyé le document. Propaganda section il a envoyé à notre section la propagande so au ministère des Affaires étrangères de façon à ce que le document puisse être traduit Khmer, en trois langues, en Khmer, en français et en anglais. Et j'ai had ou nous n'avions pas le droit de amend uh, what uh, could have been the content of his presentation. We only de made some le de son uh, revision Nous of the wording. We only made some revision of the wording. Thank you, sir. And uh, for the record, 
la défense. Merci. On fin la transcription. Votre déposition se trouve aux pages 79 et 81 du texte anglais en Khmer. 00-83-21-92 à 94 en français. 00-85-1-57. 83, 31, 51 à 57 et en anglais 00, 8, 3, 3, 2, 6, 6, 6, 7. Would that be an example of how of micromanaging? S'agit-il là d'un exemple de micro-gestion, Philip Short, tel que vous en avez parlé à Philip Short? Response. Réponse. I already stated uh, this micromanagement. Uh, J'ai déjà parlé de Pot la microgestion qu'exerçait uh, Pol Pot. But I would like to also state further that in 1976, certains points, j'ai des choses à ajouter. During the trip. Or the visit of the foreign minister of Thailand. En 76, lors de la visite du ministre thaïlandais des affaires étrangères, Monsieur Pichai Rotakun. At that time, the relation between the CPK and Thailand was not uh, well established. We did not exchange. Pas véritablement établi à l'époque. Il n'y avait pas eu d'échange d'ambassadeurs. Et donc, ce représentant de la Thaïlande est venu en visite à Sisopon. À l'époque, j'étais présent moi aussi. Et Paul Pot nous a soap. Paul Pot nous a envoyé du savon, des serviettes shoes et des chaussures pour des visiteurs. pantoufles. And et ce, Mr. à l'attention des visiteurs. Pancharchun Monsieur Anand Pancharachun was uh, also representing Thailand when he was at the Foreign Ministry of uh, Thailand. Représenter la Thaïlande uh, and et touch upon travailler that au ministère meeting. des Affaires étrangères. In a second, la Défense, uh, nous allons parler dans quelques Now, instants de cette réunion. Je voudrais vous renvoyer à votre déclaration du 12 mars 2009, 2009, 2009 à l'unière de ce que vous venez dit, de dire. Document E3-371 et en particulier uh, would be page two in English, la page 2 en anglais. Khmer, le RNL 00 2828 en français, 00 28 42 42 et 42 et en anglais 00 An answer. Democratic Kampuchea was a communist country, and so it was the party that decided everything, even on foreign affairs matters. This policy was defined by the leader of the party, Pol Pot. And my own destiny depended on him. Pol Pot nominated me to the ministry, and he also appointed me to the Kampuchea Information Agency. À l'agence d'information. Uh, uh, Compte tenu de ce que vous venez de is dire, est-ce que c'est le parti that is setting the foreign collectivement policy, qui fixait la politique Pol étrangère ou bien est-ce que c'était Pol Pot in charge qui, of setting dans les the faits, policy, était chargé de fixer et d'édicter la politique étrangère Response. 
réponse. As a normal member of the party below the CPK, en tant que membre I am ordinaire not able to know du PCK, the decision made collectively je ne pouvais pas savoir si on la décision était prise collectivement dans le cadre du principe du centralisme démocratique. Cela dit, quelle que fût la décision prise par le parti, de manière générale, en tant que secrétaire du parti, il devait être responsable de toutes les décisions prises par le parti en vue de la mise en œuvre de ces décisions par les membres du parti. Well, let's go back to the Très black book. Revenons au livre noir. From what you witnessed and from what you told us, Pol Pot directed, dictated it, directed it, dictated it, Pol Pot, uh, approved it, and chargé. no one was able il a to edit dicté, it. Il a approuvé, personne n'a pu amender. From what you were able to see, d'après ce que vous avez pu voir, was it the party que that drafted le parti qui a the black book, or was it noir, Pol Pot? Ou bien est-ce que c'est Pol Pot qui l'a fait et personne d'autre? Le président, témoin, veuillez attendre. La parole est au coprocureur. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges, chers confrères, Monsieur le témoin. Cette question a déjà été posée auparavant par Maître Carnavas. Il la repose parce qu'il vient de recevoir une réponse qui peut-être n'allait pas dans le sens qu'il souhaitait, mais il n'y a pas de raison de reposer la même question au témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Well, Mr. President, Maître we receive one answer with respect to an example, and then we receive another example, and puis une autre there seems to be an inherent contradiction. Y a une Part of the process is to try to see whether we can bring some clarity to these contradictions. So I leave it to you, Mr. President, Je whether to vous laisse le soin proceed with this line décider, or to move on. Monsieur le Président, en me disant si je peux poursuivre ou bien si je dois passer à la suite. Le président. Le président. The objection is grounded l'objection and therefore est valide sustained as the question itself was repetitious dès lors que la question était répétitive le témoin n'a pas à répondre à la question posée the chamber would like to remind council that you maître la chambre vous rappelle Ensure that the remaining questions are not repetitive. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. President. If we could go to the next page on the same document, you indicate you are asked a question about the sanctuary, and then you say that is correct. It is also true that he. Chaired the CPK Central Committee Commission on Foreign Affairs, but I do not know about those activities. What I would like to add is that in communist countries, it is normal that certain institutions are only fronts and have no members apart from the chairman. This was the case for the Commission on Foreign Affairs, which was composed solely by Ing Sari, who reported directly to Pol Pot. Do you see that part of your answer, sir? Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que vous avez repéré cette partie de votre réponse? Yes. Le témoin. That's what I said. And 
when you say that this was common in com communist countries to have fronts, you know, in other words, fictitious commissions and committees and institutions, can you please tell us who would have been responsible for creating these fronts? Because you go on to say, at least in this instance, that Ing Sari reported directly to Pol Pot. En l'occurrence, Yang Sari en référait directement à Pol Pot. That I am not uh, certain about who established uh, it, but Je ne sais pas avec certitude qui for my personal observation that was the usual appointment where Pol Pot was the secretary of the party and in foreign affairs domain, Yung Sari was um, in charge and down below him uh, included me and other cadres working for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs were the implementing agents. We were the implementers, we were not the decision makers. Uh, thank you, but we were talking and discussing uh, your answer about this front that was established, the, the central committee commission on foreign affairs, and you said that this was a front. Do you know who established this front, who tried to create this fiction? of a commission that reported that had Ing Sri as chairman reporting directly to Pol Pot. If you know, fine. If you don't know, just say so and I'll move on. The specific uh, details of the appointment was not known uh, to me, but uh, in the democratic Cambodia, like other socialist countries as well, it was under the decision and direction of the standing committee. In certain countries like uh, China or Vietnam, they have Politburo, uh, and in that Politburo, there is um, a uh, political uh, committee comprising of a small core numbers uh, to lead uh, important activities. And in the central committee of the party, there were sub uh, committees as well, for example, subcommittee for uh, economy, for foreign affairs, and for commerce, and things like that. And I did not know the specific uh, appointment, but it was, I think, a usual uh, designation and appointments of working groups to handle uh, the task. But I would also like to add uh, that the uh, Commission on Foreign Affairs, as far as I knew, that uh, Yung Sari chaired this commission, and as for members of this commission, I did not know who was uh, part of this commission, and I did not know the roles they play either. Uh, fine, sir, but I, I guess I'm going to stick with this a little bit, because now you're telling us something different. In your statement, you're saying that it was a fiction. It was a front. There were no other members, only Mr. Ng Sri. Now you're, tell, you're telling us that you didn't know who the other members were. Back then, 75 to 79, did you actually know of this commission and did you actually know how it operated, if it operated at all, because you are characterizing it as a front. If you don't know, please say so and please do not speculate. I do not know whether or not uh, the Defense uh, Council uh, understood the uh, appointment 
of working groups in communist countries. Uh, normally in the country uh, which was led by communist uh, government. I'm going to cut off the witness. It's not responsive to my question. He's eating up my time. I asked him for a direct answer. Now, if the gentleman doesn't know, he can say so, but he's not here to give speeches. It's non-responsive to my question. The president, witness is directed to Le respond to the question asked, question and I have already posée. advised you in the course of this uh, proceeding uh, that you should answer to the question, que and if you do not know, then you si can say so. Uh, you do not have to add any additional uh, responses, otherwise it will add additional burden to you and you may be exhausted uh, as well in uh, responding to those questions. Once again, the Chamber wishes to remind the parties uh, that uh, questions were uh, mostly repetitive, uh, so I would like to once again remind uh, the uh, Council uh, to avoid a repetitious question and also the question that impugned the witness. And please try to also avoid any questions that is out of the scope of the uh, current proceedings. In the interest of time for the uh, chamber, we would like to once again urge a party uh, to uh, reframe that question so that uh, they are conducive to ascertaining the truth and they make good use of court time. The representative from the prosecution you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je suis désolé d'interrompre à ce niveau ci mais la défense pose une question uniquement concernant la Commission des relations extérieures en rapport avec le document D143-371. Or, le témoin en a parlé à d'autres endroits, notamment dans le document E3-377 D166, où un certain nombre de précisions ont été apportées, ce qui fait que je crois the witness has said that the decision was taken by those commissions. The question asked by the defense is likely to mislead the witness because the counsel doesn't take into account what the witness said regarding the importance of the external commission. E3 bar 377 E3 slash E77. Excuse me, Mr. President. Now we're having the prosecutor trying. The President, uh, let the prosecution complete uh, his um, statement first. Prosecutor, you may continue. Let the prosecution finish uh, his uh, statement first. You may proceed, Mr. Prosecutor. The prosecutor, you may continue now. L'accusation, vous avez la parole. Allez-y. Merci, Monsieur le Président. La citation du témoin est la suivante. Pour ce qui concerne la Commission des relations extérieures, elle était chargée des relations de partie à partie. Il y avait donc un rôle très important dans les relations avec les pays communistes. J'en conviens, cela vient en contradiction avec ce qui a été dit dans une autre déclaration, mais pour être tout à fait complet, je crois que la défense devrait aussi présenter cette citation à aux témoins pour qu'ils puissent y répondre. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Donc, la défense du Conseil devrait aussi référer à l'autre quotation pour que le témoin puisse répondre correctement à sa question. Merci, Monsieur le Président. This is rich coming from the prosecution. They routinely do this all the time, and then they say you can cover it on your when you examine. 
This is what happens, Mr. President, when you delegate your authority to the prosecution to go ahead with initially the questioning and turning them into this, uh, into this uh, an adversarial proceeding. That's what you've done. Because they ask their questions that are for their case. They're not asking the questions that you would ask exhausting for both sides and then allowing the parties to supplement. I'm entitled to conduct my examination based on their examination and based on the answers of the witness. I do not have to follow their script. If they wish to ask to question the witness thereafter as a rebuttal, then we can introduce that system as well. But this is the problem. You've turned this into an adversarial proceeding. This is no longer a civil law land proceeding. It is an adversarial proceeding. The prosecution puts on its case. They show its documents. They question, they question the witness based on selective portions. And when I have objected in the past, and I've said, why haven't they asked uh, uh, other passages, the answer is, you can do that when it's your turn. That's the problem. And I'm entitled to ask questions concerning this statement and to ask for clarification based on the answers that the witness gave today. Nobody's trying to mislead the gentleman. I'm simply asking him who established this front. That was the thrust of my question, not how appointments were made. Who established it? If he knows, fine. If he doesn't know, I'll move on. President, uh, witness, you are now instructed to respond to the question. I was about to respond to that question, but uh, since uh, the council um, intervened, uh, then it lost uh, some time for me to answer the question. I did not know, I did not know in response to that question, but as far as I knew at that time, there was only one person who chaired the commission, but as for the detailed appointment of the composition of this commission, I did not know. Thank you. Now, concerning this black book, was it ever circulated around after it was published, in country that is, and if so, in which languages? For our department, we knew that uh, the Black Book was circulated Dans overseas as well. But internally, in Cambodia, I did not know um, who, uh, whether they uh, circulated this to them or not, because it was not under my si responsibility. Thank you. And the reason I'm asking is, Un Tong Hong, in his testimony, on August 9th, Le 9 août, has indicated that Hornam Hong a dit que Hornam and Pek Bun Tong, while at Pong Trebek, spent almost an entire Pong day Trabec trying to translate this book into Khmer. Ce livre en Khmer. So do you, I take it, based on your answer, you don't know how réponse, they would have gotten hold of it. Vous ne savez pas comment ils in French, in order to translate it into Khmer. No, I do not really réponse. understand the question because the, the book was uh, originally in Khmer and why need en Khmer. to translate it Donc, back into Khmer because Khmer was the original language of the book. Khmer, uh, thank you, that was uh, what, what, why I was asking because it la seemed défense. rather curious. Pour cela que je vous uh, la but thank you. Car cela me uh, now if we curieux. move on to je the next uh, topic. And I want to go back to uh, a line of questioning, but I didn't get a full answer. Uh, you had indicated in your statement, and I'm referring to E3-372, 
E3 bar 372. Et en Khmer 00290420. Dans euh, la page ERN en Khmer 0, uh, French, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, The quote office unquote. The former could decide whatever he wanted without consulting Ing Siri, and it was the same for the diplomat for the diplomats section. And then you give an example, and then you say on 31 December 1977, the decision was taken to sever diplomatic relations with Vietnam. Normally, this declaration should have been done by my department, but I was presented with a finished text. Ki Chun and Hugh Perset had been asked to write the declaration under the direction of Pol Pot. I want to focus a little bit on So Hong. It's de so Hong. Obviously, from your answer, it would appear that at the time you knew that he was Pol Pot's nephew. It wasn't something that you learned after 1979. Is that correct? Yes, uh, that's correct. At that time, I knew him as the nephew of Pol Pot. In, a, in light of his relations with Pol Pot, and given the answer that you've given us, was any deference given to So Hong because of who he was related to? Dans les rapports avec So Hong, est-ce que les gens faisaient preuve de déférence en raison de ses liens de parenté avec Pol Pot? Um, as far as I know, the relationship or biological relationship uh, did not have any influence or impact on the uh, leadership and management during the democratic ambit year. So I Think there was no special treatment uh, for a uh, so home uh, for uh, the uh, on the ground that he was related to Pol Pot, but uh, of course uh, So Hong was the Secretary General of Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and he was also in charge of line departments under the ministry. And certain matters uh, he did not have to seek approval from Ying Sari. For example, the decision handed down by Pol Pot uh, went through uh, So Hong. He did not have to uh, seek approval from Yang Sari. So Pol Pot made directly ordered uh, through uh, So Hong. But this was my observation, the observation of the uh, working procedures and the leadership style at that time. All right. Thank you. Now. I just want to, since we're on So Hong for a second, maybe clarify one matter. Uh, and this, is, this concerns Khoi Tun's confession. There seems to be a contradiction or a conflict between your testimony and that of, of So Hong. Uh, he indicates that it was you that handed him Khoi Tun's confession, and that can be found, Your Honors, in E3-413. And in particular, 
it was uh, you, it can be found on zero Khmer zero zero three five seven five three. 0 to 31 English 0 0 3 and French 10 uh, 0 0 and you see, you ten, you you've told us back on August 7 that it was so uh, Hong that actually handed you so Koitun's confession, and this is les aveux de Koitun. on Khmer 00832518, French 00833626, and English 00833510. And so my question, sir, is. Who's right and who is wrong? Donc savoir, le témoin, did you hand So Hong Koi Tun's confession, or did So Hong hand you Koi Tun's confession? And this would have been, I believe, January 6, 1979. Thank you. On the morning of the 7th of January 1979, when I was about to leave B1 uh, to the Ministry of Propaganda, at that time it, was, it has the code name of K33. At that time, So Hong uh, handed in the confession of Koi Tun to me, and he told me that uh, we would meet in the next uh, five days. Uh, so my understanding at that time, I did not know whether or not uh, uh, he was uh, serious about that. And I actually uh, did not uh, receive any uh, confessions from anyone uh, myself, so I could never hand in this uh, confession to So Hong. It would uh, be uh, virtually impossible for me to hand in this confession to So Hong. Okay, thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. Now, if we go on to uh, another topic, uh, still which we're talking about uh, Pol Pot. And um, you've indicated to us in the past that he he made decisions and he made appointments, and in particular, uh, he was the one that was uh, involved with the intellectuals returning from the country. Now, I have a, a question for you based on what Chandler writes, and perhaps you can assist us here. Uh, here you, uh, Mr. Chandler, and I'm referring to D108 slash 50 slash 1.75. The uh, English ERN number is 00193374. There's been no translation, but this is the same passage that was uh, shown to uh, another witness. Let me read it very briefly. It's just a short passage. It says, this is with, with respect to On Tong Hung, the section that he was writing about him. It says, Hung was affiliated with the UEK rather than the more extreme Union Nationale des Étudiants Khmer, ENEK, the Maoist organization to which Kol Tuk Sun belonged. And this is the part that I'm interested in. Some 30 members of the UNEK, including Tuk's son, were allowed back into Cambodia in 1973 after being vetted by Cambodians in Beijing. Students like Hong, who were affiliated with the UEK, were told to wait. 
may none return home until after uh, April 1975. Now, you've told us that you were avant, in Beijing at or around this time. Can you add some clarity on this? Does David Chandler have it right that as early as 1973, a betting process was going on at the Beijing de, de, embassy as to which Cambodians de, de control, uh, would be returning uh, Beijing, to join in the revolution. At the time, there were many students, including uh, Kol Dorothy, who was the son of Kol Tuit. Uh, he uh, was there uh, in Peking uh, to uh, prepare himself uh, to a return to uh, join the revolution in Cambodia. Uh, they uh, were there under uh, training, a physical training to strengthen their uh, physical strengths when they had to endure difficulties when they uh, are involved in the revolution. So they had to endure all of those hardships before they came. Right, but my question goes to the vetting itself. Who could return and who could not? Mr. Chandler seems to, well, he's indicating that there was a vetting process, a selection process being carried out from the Beijing embassy. Is he correct in that? So, do you believe David Chandler or do you believe me? Because I was there myself. I was a student among those uh, students in uh, Peking. There was no selection process whatsoever. Those who requested to be returned to Cambodia, uh, they, uh, uh, came. They, they came. They decided to return to Cambodia on a voluntary basis. Okay, this is as early as 1973 we're speaking about. It was in 1973. All right. And um, now at some point, you've told us, and this would have been on your testimony of um, August 6th, and I'm referring to Khmer 00832199222. French 00833160262. English 00833273274. You've said that the secretary that was attached to the embassy had the real authority. Do you recall making telling us that. Vous -vous de vous être ainsi. Yes, uh, that's the organizational structure oui. of the party. Ainsi que était organisé le so parti. who was the secretary of the party had uh, the authority to, uh, to lead, not the ambassador. Right. Now, I want to go to E3 slash 101. This is your statement of 17 March 2009. And perhaps you can add some clarity in light of the last two answers that you've given us about uh, David Chandler and, and this last one. 
the secretary at the embassies. Uh, you're asked a question. How were, how was the ER number is, I'm referring to the document E3 slash 101. ER number is 00290437. To 38, that's 0, the Khmer, 0, 29, 0, 0, 29, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, Went through dites, the Cambodian embassy je cite, in Beijing. Tous par du Since Cambodia communications Pétain, between the embassy and Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh went through two different par deux channels: the party channel le and the government channel. Le canal it is possible that instructions were given to the party cell directly by Pol Pot. Par Pol Pot à la cellule du parti à Pékin. Do you see that part of your answer, sir? Est-ce que vous avez repéré cet extrait de votre réponse? Response: Yes, I do. Réponse: oui. Now, the period that you're referring Question. to here would that be post 75? Ici, or would that also include pre 1975? Ultérieure à 1975 ou également à la période antérieure à cette année? The President, Mr. President, Réponse. Uh, before 1975, the CPK was not yet in power. I do not know how this question was put in the first place by Council. Je May refer to two dates. Uh, the first question was about La 1973, question but uh, the next question is about the new date, uh, and it is appropriate to put that question. So please listen carefully to the question and respond accordingly. Do you know? Do, do you know, sir? La défense. Do you know, sir, whether Monsieur, any instructions were provided si des instructions by Pol Pot ont été to the party par cell in Beijing even prior Pékin, to 1975 avant concerning the return of intellectuals? Au sujet du retour des intellectuels. Response. Prior to 1975, Cambodia embassies were the embassies of the Fung and the Grunk, by the then Prince Norodom Sihanouk, and this had nothing to do with the CPK, because the CPK only ruled the country from from the 17th of April 1975. Thank you. One final question on this matter: Was there a party cell in Beijing prior to 1975? Response. Réponse. Yes, it was. Oui. There was a party cell in Beijing chaired by Mrs. Sin An, who was the secretary of the party. An, qui était secrétaire and pour did le she parti. remain secretary of the party Question after 1975? Response. Réponse. No, uh, after, no. Uh, in 1975, she came.
came en 75 so far as i remember back to the country and no longer be the secretary elle a cessé uh, she was not the secretary uh, at the embassy but for, for the party elle but no longer pas secrétaire à l'ambassade mais bien pour le parti mais après and cette know, date, elle a cessé de l'être made the decision to Question. replace her so did she voluntarily come back a pris la décision de la remplacer ou bien est-ce qu'elle est rentrée au pays volontairement Human bandanas réponse I do not know about this but je I know that rien. her husband was Mais je sais the ambassador que son mari um, to Hanoi était l'ambassadeur the Grung. du Grunk à Hanoi so it was possible that she returned to Hanoi to reunite with her husband. Uh, thank you. Uh, now I want to move to another topic again, uh, somewhat related to what we've been talking about, uh, that is Pol Pot. Uh, you were asked a series of questions concerning the base cadre transiting through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Affairs and also a reference was made to a Et Ke Kim Hut. Il a été fait mention aussi d'un certain Ke Kim Hut. I want to ask you a question concerning this. J'ai une question à ce sujet. Uh, you state in your testimony on August 7th, le 7 août, and this would be Khmer 00 8325 Zéro zéro quatre vingt trois vingt cinq vingt cinq et vingt six de la reine en français zéro zéro quatre vingt trois et en anglais à la page zéro zéro quatre vingt trois et vous dites that among other things was like an administrator Monsieur who would be supervising the work of them. Supervisant leur but travail, the decision mais of the appointment les décisions was up to Paul Pot les nominations incombaient à Paul Pot who were to be sent to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to be decided au ministère by des Paul étrangères c'était Paul Pot qui en décidait the, de the detail about some protocols of diplomats les détails when they are attached overseas concernant for certains example, diplomates the presentation à l'étranger par exemple, la présentation des lettres d'accréditation dans le pays en question. Vous vous souvenez-vous avoir dit cela dans le prétoire Réponse. Réponse. The base cadres. who had to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Les cadres de base were not qui devaient under passer the par le ministère des Affaires étrangères n'étaient pas placés sous la supervision de M. Yang Sari they were the base car c'était des cadres de base and the supervision of Il relevait the de la supervision du comité permanent and de toute évidence uh, with regard to any appointment concernant uh, of any of these Les people would have been done by the standing committee, cela not Mr. Yingsari. au comité permanent et non pas M. Yingsari d'en décider. However, if they would like to be Toutefois, sent elsewhere, si then they would be um, transiting at B1. Cette personne devait transiter par B1. And I remember giving a radio to each and Je individual cadre avoir remis un poste radio à chaque cadre and se trouvant à Phnom Penh. The, before they returned or came to Phnom Penh, they were at the base Avant and they met Penh, me in my office. They were in the base and they met me in my office. Because the office, my office was close to the staircase and the people who came to the uh, building would go through my office. So I can say bureau. that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Donc, was the transit point. It's not the place where the decision was made. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, going back to your answer, question. and then we'll move to your question. Je reviens à votre réponse, puis nous allons faire référence à une de vos déclarations. You say here, 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 you say here
ici that the decision was made by Paul Pot. You don't say anything about a standing committee here. This is my first point. This is what you testified on August 7. And now if you look at E3 slash 42, this is your statement of May 6, 2009. And I'm referring to Khmer 00327207 to 09, French 00327227 to 28, or I should say to 29, and 00327227 to 1.9. Here you're asked about to comment on a passage that was made uh, from your ex-wife's book. And you say here that you have the answer in my do you have the answer in my manuscript under the title of the Minister of Affairs Étrangères intitulé Ministère des Affaires Étrangères de la Mort, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Antichamber of Death, question mark, page 154. De la mort. What can I say is that the cadre that Ce Lawrence Peake mentioned in her book les were a regional cadre livre, who had problems in their region. Des they had been called to represent Democratic Kampuchea abroad. Le Kampuchea à they received diplomatic training at the Foreign, Foreign Affairs, Affairs Ministry, but Mais the decision to call them to Phnom Penh, venir à Phnom Penh and name them as ambassadors, ambassadors was not taken by the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Le des Affaires it étrangères. was an office 870 decision, decision i.e. Paul Potts decision. Paul Pot. This is a common characteristic of communist regimes. Il là and then communist. you go on to talk about Ke Kim Hut. Et puis vous de Ke Kim Hut. So here, sir, it appears that you are saying that it was Paul Pot's decision. Do you stand by what you told Pot. the investigators que vous ce que vous avez on 6 May, le 6 May, which is apparently what you wrote ce in que vous avez your book that has been published? Dans le livre qui a été publié. Response. Réponse. I wish to emphasize that those cadres uh, were base cadres and were not under the supervision of Mr. Yang Sari. De la de Yang Sari. For that reason, there was no other people other than Pour cette raison, Paul Pot, because if Yang Sari did not manage or supervise them, it was Paul Pot who made the decision. Si Paul ces gens n'étaient pas sous la supervision de Yang Sari, c'est Paul Pot et personne d'autre qui prenait la décision. Paul Pot les convoquait au ministère. And any one of them would be appointed to be an ambassador to any country according to the sole decision by Paul Pot. Et tous devaient être ambassadeurs en application de la décision de Paul Pot et de lui seul. Yes. Pour I répondre do stand by that à votre question, ma réponse est oui, je maintiens ce que j'ai dit. And would that answer also apply Est-ce que cette réponse to Mr. Ke Kim Hut? également à M. Ke Kim Hut? Respond. Réponse? Yes, it does. Oui. In the book. That's the appartient à César. Return to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. That book is in French. Comme on dit en français, il faut rendre à César ce qui appartient à César. Anyone who livre est écrit en does anything, he or she shall be responsible Quiconque for his actions or her actions. It means de that ses actes. the hair grows 
on the person's head. I mean, he he is the one who is responsible for that. Thank you. Si des cheveux poussent sur votre tête, c'est vous qui êtes responsable de vos cheveux. I want to turn to a document that was shown to you. Je voudrais passer à un document qui vous a été présenté. By my colleague for the Nunchia team, and I'm going to be asking you a few questions. I'll be questions to you. With a different focus on them, and I'm referring to document D199/2.2.2. And this seems to be a telegram. Il s'agit apparemment d'un télégramme. And this refers to a visit to Cambodia by the Thai Minister of Foreign Affairs, Khmer Personalities. It's only two pages long. Le ministre thaïlandais des Affaires étrangères. I'll be referring to the second page. Je vais parler de la deuxième page. And c'est un document de deux pages seulement. Of course, you are. Quoted, or it was read to you from this document, a passage. Un passage de ce document. We can find it. Vous avez été lu. And we can find it on the transcript, Khmer page 18 to 19, French 24 to 25, English is 23. And it's the passage from the second page of this two-page document. Cet extrait de la deuxième page de ce document de page. I can read the, the ERN numbers if it's necessary. Je peux les ERN si c'est nécessaire. But this is what was read to you. Mais voici ce qui vous a été lu. Mr. Pol Pot appeared capable, Monsieur resolute, Pol and confident. A semblé capable, résolu et confiant. He spoke in the first person. He obviously wanted to impress upon everyone that he is the man who has been running the country since 1975. He also took credit for the policy of friendship with Thailand, saying that he was the one who made the decision to send Mr. Ng Shri to Bangkok in October 1975. By contrast, Ms. Ng Shri cut the figure of a lowly, respectful subordinate. He hardly answered any questions immediately. He seemed anxious to always consult a higher or collegial authority each time. In the course of the discussions, Mr. Ng Sri also relied on Mr. Tun Prasad and Mr. Kit Chun, two seasoned senior officials whose function within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs were not specified. Now we know from your testimony that you were not present, you did not attend the actual meeting itself, so you may not have been able to witness what is being described. But you have indicated that you worked for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from 1975 to 1979. You've told us that you know Mr. Yang Sari as well as Mr. Paul Pot. And my question is, Ma question est la suivante. in any other meetings that you might have been present, réunions auxquelles vous auriez did Paul Pot give the appearance of being a, donné a capable, resolute, and confident individual et who was running de soi Cambodia at the time? Dirigeant le Cambodge à l'époque. The uh, response. Uh, so far as I know him, he is not the person de lui, who is too proud ce of himself. Pas quelqu'un de fier. Individually, or personally. However, as Sur le plan personnel. the secretary of the party, Mais, en tant que secrétaire du parti, everyone. 
respected him. Il était respecté de tous. And we agreed to his leadership. Et nous acceptions son statut de chef. So I do not know during the meeting when we received uh, the Thai foreign minister au cours de la réunion whether avec le ministre thaïlandais des affaires there étrangères was his, uh, present, uh, je ne sais pas s'il était présent at that time he was the first à prime minister il était Or premier, rather, yeah, the first premier ministre, uh, minister who was assigned to receive visiting il était foreign ministers from other country. It was part of the étrangers. appointment. Cela relevait des fonctions qui lui avaient été attribuées. The question is, in other meetings, la défense. Did you witness? Pol Pot in the manner in which he's described here. À d'autres réunions, that's the thrust of my question because you've told us you weren't at the meeting. Constaté que Pol Pot était tel qu'il est décrit so, ici parce que vous avez dit about the meeting que vous n'étiez pas à la réunion. You may be speculating. Donc, pour tout ce qui concerne la réunion, il s'agirait de spéculation de votre part. The president uh, witness, could you Le please hold on, témoin, Mr. Co-prosecutor? La parole est au co-procureur. Je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Je crois you, que le témoin vient de répondre à cette question. Et donc, quelle est répétitive the question, so the question is Par ailleurs, j'aurais pu me lever auparavant, parce qu'il me semble qu'on invite le témoin à tirer de certaines conclusions. That, uh, we're the et la question n'est peut-être pas assez précise non plus, parce qu'on ne sait pas de quel genre precise, de réunion exactement, uh, à quel genre de réunion uh, la défense est référence, et est-ce que Yang Sari était présent, etc. Et si Yang était présent, ou quoi que ce soit. Je ne crois que, fondamentalement, cette question a déjà reçu une réponse has already been answered by the witness. Therefore, this question is repetitive. Thank you. Mr. President, I asked him if he witnessed other Maître such meetings. The answer could be yes or no, if yes, he appeared this way si oui, or he didn't appear that way. That's, it's, there's Paul nothing Paul repetitive, but I'll façon, move on for the sake of, 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 rien de répétitif à ceci. of moving on. Mais je vais passer à la suite le faut. Now, um, You talked about knowing Pol Pot very well. Vous avez you told us avoir this très bien connu Pol Pot. on August 16th that you personally knew him vous avez dit very well que vous le and that you were not afraid of him. Et que vous pas peur de lui. And this can be found in the transcript on page 24 to 25 in page the Khmer version, version, French 32 to 33 au page 32 and English, de la version page 30. Et au page, à la page 30 de la version anglaise. And then you indicate Ensuite, that I only learned vous dites, of what cite, happened during the regime only after 1979. And even if I were to know what happened si during the regime, ce qui se maybe I would not dare to refuse régime, that offer. This is with respect to the meeting with Pol Pot when he offered you a particular position. Avec Pol Pot qui vous a un poste Now, in the context of what you of your answer, Compte tenu de la réponse que vous avez donnée, I want to clarify a couple of points. Je voudrais obtenir des précisions sur plusieurs points. On August 8, 2012, le 8 août 2012, you've told us, vous nous avez dit, and this can be found, et ici je vous Khmer, renvoie 00, à la page suivante en Khmer, 0083-4205, en français, 00-83-4407, English et en anglais 00 83 42 92 98 vous avez dit je cite quand j'étais à Pékin je n'aurais jamais pu imaginer que Paul Pot dont le nom initial était Salosar était en réalité le secrétaire du parti We all thought Nous pensions that Kyo tous que Kyo ou Yang Sari était secrétaire du parti. Mais il était secrétaire du parti. But he never Mais thought that it was Pol Pot. Nous n'avons jamais so pensé que c'était Pol Pot. Sure je ne peux pas dire avec certitude to the question, ce qu'il en est. Je ne peux pas précisément répondre Now, à la question. And so my question is, fin de citation, how is it ma question est la suivante. 
very much involved in party politics and party affairs from the days in Paris and the many activities in Beijing. You know Pol Pot very well. Par ailleurs, vous connaissiez très bien Pol Pot, c'est ce que vous avez dit en tout cas. Mais peut-être que vous ne le connaissiez pas aussi bien à ce moment-là, mais comment se fait-il que vous n'auriez jamais pu imaginer que c'était Pol Pot lui-même qui était le secrétaire du parti dont vous étiez membre Comment cela se peut-il Response. It is not difficult to understand. I was member, the secret member in Cambodia before I went to France in October 1957. I was inducted by Mr. Ian Sari. When I was in France, C'est Yang Sari qui m'a fait entrer. Quand j'étais en France, le cercle léniniste marxiste était présidé par Kyo Sampan. Et j'ai connu Pol Pot en 1956 que j'ai fait la connaissance de Pol Pot lorsque j'étais enseignant à l'école de Kantara Mouti. Il enseignait la littérature française. Et moi, j'ai enseigné l'histoire géographie. And I did not. Uh, I knew that Pol Pot was uh, handsome and a very polite and friendly Pol Pot person. était quelqu'un d'élégant, d'amical, de so nobody poli. Could imagine that he could Personne become the secretary of the party. Le nobody du parti. could ever imagine that. And uh, I knew him to be Salot Sa when Je he paid a visit to China Sard in September 1977. At that time on, on uh, we knew that Pol Pot was actually Salot Sa. C'est à ce moment-là que nous avons appris qu'en fait Pol Pot c'était Salot Sa. May I ask if you recall? Question. When did it dawn on you? À quel when did you learn that he was actually the party secretary? Do you recall the year? Do you recall the year? Do you recall the year? It was in Peking when I joined as member of the CPK. J'étais à Pékin en tant que membre okay, du PCK. Question. De quelle année parlez-vous Réponse. It was in 1971. Que Salot Sar était secrétaire cette année-là ou bien vous avez appris cette année-là qu'un certain Pol Pot était secrétaire Response. That was the time when I learned that he was a Salot Sar. Okay, thank you. Now, I want to refer to your statement of May 7, 2009, and perhaps tied in with the last question. En rapport avec la dernière question. Because you've indicated that you were, you could never imagine that Pol Pot would have been the or was the, the party secretary. Parti. And I'm referring to E3 slash 377, Khmer uh, 00327, 35 to 38, uh, French 00, 00 uh, 32 72 55 to five seven and English zero zero three two seven two four six to four seven. You were asked a question about the relations be between Pol Pot and Ying Sari. And 
part of your answer or your answer is Votre réponse était la suivante. Pol Pot and Ing Shiri had very different personalities and evolved in very different ways. Très et ont évolué de façon Indeed, très fundamentally, Pol Pot wasn't a Pol Pot quote, revolutionary, unquote. Un he had been educated in the royal palace. Il avait été During his stay in Paris, he enjoyed Royal, having fun. Durant son séjour à Paris, il aimait s'amuser. Thereafter, he didn't Par accept suite, any contradiction. Il For him, a man's life Pour was lui, less valuable than quote drop of water in the ocean. Dans end of quote. On the contrary, Yang Sari saved Sari many people. He always asked us to il tell him the truth, lui dise even la vérité, if it was unpleasant. Même si elle était he had come to communism il very early. Très tôt au In summary, en résumé, I don't especially want je ne tiens pas to defend Ing Sari, but I know him very well. Je le très bien. And I can say that without the Pailin and Malai revolts in the 1990s, de et de there would still be war. Now, il y la in même. the context of what you told us that you were surprised vous avez dit about Pol Pot, ailleurs, Well, this might be one of the reasons avoir because été Paul Pot, at least when Pot, you knew him as Solosar in que Paris, une des was not a revolutionary de ce and fait, certainly à came from what would appear a bourgeois Paul Pot pas background. Mais avait des origines bourgeoises. This, this was obviously the evolution, the his, historical evolution. Those who had the means and capability to become the party leader included uh, Mr. Rotsamun. I did not know him personally. I only heard uh, about him from uh, his friends and also from my friends who uh, had acquainted with him. Uh, he had the necessary qualification and um, experience. For example, he was mature. He was um, Speaking about Pol Pot, I, uh, my apologies for interrupting, but we're speaking about Pol Pot. Let me go on to the next uh, question that I have within this answer of yours. When you say, thereafter, meaning Pol Pot, he didn't accept any contradictions. For him, a man's life was less valuable than a drop of water in the ocean. Now, when you say he did not accept any contradictions, what do you mean by that? To my knowledge, any ideas that were contradictory to his was viewed by him that uh, people did not cling to the uh, party's position. At times, he uh, did not object or express any Uh, disapproval uh, through his uh, expression, but he maintained uh, calmness and maturity. But following the victory of 1975, he uh, became convinced uh, that his position uh, ever seen was uh, correct. That's why he did not believe in any contradiction at all, any ideas that were contradictory to him were uh, not uh, accepted by him. And this led to the crimes of this massive scale. And to my 
understanding the determination of the party lines at that time to transform Cambodia into a socialist a country was done in a swift manner and it was solely relying upon one person. That's why it led to this uh, disaster and tragedy. That was my uh, judgment. I know that he was not a person who liked to womanize or other uh, things, but uh, I myself believe uh, that uh, it was his uh, personal opinion. I did not uh, say that uh, he uh, considers human life or a man's life as a drop of water, but uh, that was probably the situation at that time. The president, uh, the time is now appropriate for adjournment. Uh, we, uh, will we will adjourn now and resume at 5 to 11. Court officer is instructed to coordinate and facilitate the venue for the witness and his duty counsel to rest during the break and bring them back by 5 to 11.